Hello, I'm recording a short video to hopefully resolve any Final Fantasy XIV launcher issues or standalone account issues on the Steam Deck. Uh, if you're launching either the demo or the full version, it will launch, but you will get stuck on a Final Fantasy XIV, uh, effectively a launcher splash screen. I'll show that really quick. This will also have issues if you have bought the game previously from either Square or from a third party uh, retailer and you will not be able to use the Steam version as the licenses are different. So to resolve these two issues we will be switching to desktop mode by going to Steam button then power switch to desktop. Once the system is rebooted into Linux, uh, you may take a second to get uh, touchpad support. And we will be going to the Discover Store and installing two applications. Oh, it One of the applications will be to hopefully make it easier to modify the config file. Uh, to open the keyboard, you'll be using the Steam button plus X while holding it. So the text editor I like using is G E Edit, G Edit. That should install. If you are comfortable using uh, Vim or VIM, feel free to use it, but I found it to be a bit of a pain to actually edit the config. And then for uh, Glorious Egg Roll, we will be searching for another tool called Proton. Oops, got an extra space in there. Hopefully this can be shown that navigation is very possible with just the Steam Deck. Proton up dash QT. I've already installed this one, so we shall look at that in a second. Okay, if you go to all applications. Proton up QT. This is only required if you're you'll be using the trial version of Final Fantasy XIV to launch the non-Steam client effectively. So pretty much all you'll be doing is adding version. Uh, I'm just selecting the newest. Uh, there may be a specific one that's more stable for Final Fantasy XIV, but for the moment I'm just using the most recent, which at this time is uh, 7.5. Just click install on that. Uh, the second thing we'll be doing is going into the config and changing the browser for this for the Final Fantasy XIV boot config file. For that, you'll want to go to your home directory, the deck, and then to enable show hidden files, you'll be going to local, share, steam, as I can find it. Steam apps. Compat data or compatibility data. And then this folder will have the number or the ID of the client. So for the demo, it is 31060. For the full game, it should be 39210. I do not have that to actually verify though. And then once you're in there, you go to PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, Documents or My Documents, doesn't matter, My Games. Then you should have your Final Fantasy XIV folder here. Uh, once you're in here, you'll find the FF14 boot config. Uh, if you open this normally, it'll probably open in Vim, which can be a problem. I will go ahead and open with the text editor I installed. 
and the two uh, values we will want to be changing our browser and browser type. Both of these should be set to one. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Steam button and hold X to open up the keyboard. Change this one to one. Save. Exit. Okay, that is all that is needed to resolve launcher issues. So the splash screen you get stuck on, that fix should resolve that one. For the client type, we will be using glorious egg roll and a variable that we put in launch options. And for that, we shall be returning to gaming mode. Okay, now that the Steam Deck has restarted back into big picture mode, we're going to be going to Final Fantasy XIV. We're going to be going to the gear to change settings, properties, and at this time, uh, this will be for fixing the uh, no Steam mode. So we will be going into Force Steam Play compatibility. We'll be selecting the Glorious Egg Roll Proton version that we installed earlier. So for me, this will be Proton 7.5. Then you'll be going down to General, Launch Options, and it'll be No Steam equal 1. And space, whoops, one, space, percent, command, percent. Go ahead and back out of the settings, and then you should be good to go to play. Like I said, there, we're resolving two different issues here. The config file will resolve the stuck at launcher issues, and then the glorious egg roll plus no steam will resolve uh, non steam uh, activated accounts. So if you own it independently of Steam, this is how you could go ahead and use that account to play. So from here, I can log in, and for that, I'll be putting the recording for a second. And at this point, you have seen a couple of different screens. You have had to download the game. Uh, I've launched this in the past, so all of that was already done for me. But you will not be able to do this immediately like I have been. Sound is working, it is just <clears throat> not recording proper to, properly with my capture card. Launching the game just to verify it works, but at this point, should be good to go. Of course, none of my settings are correct, but the game is functional and, as far as I know, very playable. <laughs> 